Hey, hey, welcome back to The Way with Jazz and Tay. It's your girl Jazz and Shantae. Hey. Before the break, we gave y'all a nice recap of our weeks. We've been going through it and doing a lot. We've had a lot of fun experiences and we've got some fun experiences ahead of us. And we also piloted a new icebreaker, which we're gonna have to tweak a little bit, but it was a, it was fun and it was challenging. Definitely made mm-hmm. us think. So now we're gonna get into our reviews of the week. Um, Shantae is gonna do her review of Planet Her by Doja Cat. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my weekly bachelorette update, okay? I'm gonna start off with my bachelorette update because um, a lot has been going on and I'm feeling very intuitive. Like I've pretty much, I'm so serious. I've called pretty much every person that has left this show so far. I'm gonna be like, nope, he's not lasting. He's not lasting. If he's not going home this week, he's definitely going home next. And sure enough, I have been pretty spot on, girl. I've not been heartbroken yet about who's been leaving. Um, So I will keep you guys updated. You know, it's literally only like the fourth episode. There's so much to, (laughs) there's still so much to go. I'm not gonna be perfect, Um, but, just like with any bachelorette season, they introduce a new player into the middle of things. Um, yeah, of course. And this dude, I guess, has actually already been on two other bachelorette shows. So there was a little bit of like, okay, what are you doing? You know, this, this is making me uncomfortable knowing that you've technically dated two other bachelorettes with no, you know, avail. Like, what's going on? Are you just a serial bachelorette dater? Um, so yeah, so she was hesitant about you. Exactly. She was hesitant about accepting him into the group. Um, you know, I won't let you guys know whether she did or didn't. You're just going to have to watch to find out. Mm. Um, but, but there was drama, you know, there's always drama. There was this one guy in particular whom I've low key been smitten with since the beginning of this. Uh, the reason why he is tall, he is dark, he's handsome. He's got curly hair uh, and he says all the right things Did I mentioned he was tall. I did. (laughs) <laughs> but he's tall. Um, and he's one of those guys who you know was trouble because he's a talker. He says everything and anything that you basically want to hear. He knows how to make you feel good. He can talk himself up. That actually ended up getting him in trouble. Um, you know, some stuff happened and there were some truths that came out that maybe he wasn't really there for Katie. That maybe he was there to potentially become the next Bachelor. Hmm? Yeah, so there was definitely drama surrounding that. Katie didn't know what to believe or who to trust. And, you know, she's really connecting with this guy. So a lot of drama surrounding that. Mm -hmm. And Katie cried, you know, we don't want to see our girl cry. We don't want these men over here breaking hearts. Um, But yes, the and then the highlight, I would say, is, you know, what was really fun or that really got us laughing was um, they sent these guys on a on a scavenger hunt type of like dare game to prove their love or you know their commitments to Katie what they're willing to to do to prove you know that they care for her and um, they had to do a whole bunch of stuff like whisper sweet nothings into her ear for like a minute Um, there was like a carb station. So there was like these big plates that were just loaded up with different carb items, like a mountain of mashed potatoes. And the person had to like eat all of that. Um, All of it? All of it. And there was gravy. And there was another station that was like, you know, a plate full of Twinkies. (laughs) You know, like it was, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty fun to see. They had to eat like peppers. Um, Ah, not one particular pepper, isn't it? It was like a, I don't remember. A ghost pepper? Wasn't that what it was? I think so, but I'm also could be wrong. Oh, okay. Um, Yeah, but it was definitely, um, it was definitely spicy. Nobody. Like, what does that have to do with her? Why would I need to eat a ghost pepper for your love? What? You know, I definitely thought about that. Sacrifice. Well, it was, it was a habanero pepper. You're totally right. It was habanero. Okay. So not, not as spicy as the ghost pepper. Still doesn't Um, make sense. But (laughs) 
I definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely enjoying it. You know, um, I definitely feel like I could be like, you know, writing on this show or hand picking dudes because I still have not been wrong. So I'm excited to see where this goes. There's a few guys who I definitely see as like, you know, top fivers, you know, top threeers. Um, so I'll keep you guys obviously posted. And I'm really, I'm going to try to make sure that I'm not spoiling for you guys because now that I am caught up and up to date, you guys are watching it with me and I don't want to ruin anything for you guys. So um, that was my bachelorette update.